having gone through the theta big O and big omega notations for representing a function t of n, there's one important point we need to note, which is that these asymptotic notations that we are looking at are independent of whether this function t of n is the worst case running time or the average case running time or the best case running time. So it is not the case that the big O notation can be used to represent only the worst case time because it's an upper bound. Okay, the fact that it's rep the big O notation represents an upper bound has nothing to do with t of n being the worst case running time. Similarly, just because the big omega notation is used to uh, represent a lower bound on a function does not imply that the function being represented is the best case running time. We can use any of these notations with any of the running times. It, we can represent uh, we can represent the worst case running time using all three notations. We can represent the average case running time using all three notations, and we can represent the best case running time using any of these three notations. For example, going back to the insertion sort algorithm, we can represent the worst case running time of the insertion sort algorithm as theta of n square. This is what we did because ultimately our expression for the running time for insertion sort was some quadratic expression like this, where a, b, and c are constants. Our expression was more complicated, but ultimately it could be reduced to a quadratic expression. And then we dropped the lower order terms and we ignored the constant coefficient of n square and then we represented the worst case running time as theta of n square. Now, if the worst case uh, running time is in theta of n square, it must also be in big O of n square and big omega of n square. Because any function that is big theta of n square is also big O of n square and big omega of n square. But we could have also represented t of n here, the worst case running time, as big omega of n. Now if you recall, any function that is in big omega of n needs to have either the same or a larger order of growth than n. And because a quadratic expression, a quadratic function has a higher order of growth than n, any quadratic expression is can be written as big omega of n. For this reason, we could have represented the worst case running time of insertion sort as big omega of n as well. Of course, this is not a very accurate way of representing uh, uh, the worst. It's not incorrect, but it's not completely accurate because uh, it, theta of n square specifies a tight bound on the kind of function t of n is. Right? So theta indicates that the function we are talking about has a rate of growth that is equal to n square. It has a rate of uh, it. It has a rate of growth equal to n square, whereas this bound, big omega of n, only specifies that the function we are talking about has a rate of growth that is equal to or larger than n. So even if this had been a cubic function, we could have written it as big omega of n. If this had been a function a, a, a large polynomial with a degree, say, 100, we could have represented it as big omega of n. So big, so theta of n square specifies, is, 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 is representing this function most closely relative to these other notations. We could have also represented the worst case running time as big O of n cube. Because any function that is in big O of n cube must have either the same or a smaller rate of growth than n cube. And this quadratic expression has a smaller rate of growth than n cube. For the same reason, we could have represented 
the worst case t of n as big O of n to the power 4. We could have represented it as big omega of 1 because any function that is in big omega of 1 must either be a constant or have a rate of growth that is larger than a constant. So because this quadratic function is growing with n, just from the fact that it is growing with n means that it is in big omega of 1. It is also in big O of n square log n because a function that is in big O of n square log n must either have the same rate of growth as n square log n or it should have a smaller rate of growth than n square log n and this function is growing at a smaller uh, rate than n square log n. So you can see that the worst case running time could have been represented using all three notations theta, big O and big omega. In the same way the average case running time for insertion sort which we uh, wrote as theta of n square when we looked at insertion sort it could have been also represented using these other notations. So it could have been written as big O of n square or big omega of n square or you know uh, less accurately as also as big, o, big omega of n or uh, big O of n cube and so on. Usually we want to use a notation that represents a rate of growth that is as close as possible to the real function. So we don't want to be too far off from it which is why I said that uh, these representations are relatively less accurate because uh, they are not they are not very close to the actual rate of growth. They are not representing the actual rate of growth. Anyway, so the best the, the average case running time could have also been represented like this. The best case running time for insertion sort which we expressed as theta of n when we looked at insertion sort. But it could have been uh, expressed as big omega of n or big O of n because uh, any function that is in big theta of n must be in big omega of n and big O of n. It could have also been written as big O of n square because it has a rate of growth that is smaller than n square. So the expression for the best case running time was some linear function of n and any linear function of n has a smaller rate of growth than n square and so big, it's going to belong to this set big O of n square. It could have been written as big omega of 1 because it's growing with n and a function in big omega of 1 needs to either be a constant or have a positive rate of growth with n. So a rate of growth that is faster than a constant. The, run, the best case running time could have also been written as big omega of log of n because the rate of growth of this function is larger than that of log n. n grows at a rate that is uh, larger than the rate at which log of n grows. We could have written the best case running time as big O of n to the power 10 because the rate of growth of the expression for the best case running time grows at a rate significantly smaller than n to the power 10. So I've used several of these examples to show you that these three notations can be used to represent any of these three running times and in a variety of ways especially the big O and the, the big omega notations. So we shouldn't confuse these notations, we shouldn't associate these notations only with uh, the worst case time or the best case time or the average case time. They can represent any of the running times that will be of concern to us.